good. Let's hit control S once again, just in case, just in case. Alright, so there we have it. Let's jump to Lux Render Renderer. Um, here we are in Lux Render uh, settings page. Basically, uh, set up your uh, uh, resolution, aspect, ratio, frame rate, doesn't matter if it's rendering any video. And what do I want you to do is to not use any of the settings, any of the presets. Configure everything by yourself and please don't render internally with Slux Render. That will that will just ruin your day, believe me. Okay, rendering mode set to external. I'll sample the original CPU, uh Lux Render Giant, yeah yeah yeah. Uh, make sure ignore that groups is unchecked. Uh, select your past flux render unless you have done so already. Sampler Metropolis should be just fine. Bi directional for surface integrator. I let's set it to 32 because 40. I mean, uh, sorry, 32 because uh, 48 is is kind of too big and it might and it might slow down the render unnecessarily, unnecessarily, unnecessary. Oh, bloody hell, unnecessarily too much. Ooh. Okay, volume integrator. Don't really bother. We don't have any volumes. Uh, filter. Uh, basically, it's uh, anti-aliasing, and Mitchell should do just well. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's it. Now all we need to do is to add our camera by hitting Shift A and adding our camera and moving that guy into the position and like so yep and kind of want to see through the cameras where we can do this is we split this area in half and we hit zero on numpad and we see as the camera would see and we move the camera in our bottom view like so actually i want to reset the rotation because i don't like the way it's rotated so I want to start f start fresh and don't rely on my previous attempts to create something that will catch your eye. Anyhow, I uh, yeah, I want to move a little bit. Oh, no rotation. A little bit back and kind of moved into the position like so okay now we can join those paints and uh, start rendering like so hit zero to view through the camera and basically we are ready to render okay so we are back and we are ready to render our beauty and uh, I just made a quick adjustment I uh, move, moved uh, the light out of the way of the camera because uh, they just uh, appeared into render and it didn't look great. Uh, now I want uh, to rotate uh, this uh, this whole object so it kind of looks a little bit more interesting, like so, 25 degrees. And here we go, hit control to snap the angle. And what are we having is, I don't know what is this. Basically, maybe I have duplicated a uh, the whole shape. Let's just delete this and select once again because that's just me being a little bit inattentive. And once again, um, hold Control to snap to the angle and let's view this through our camera and let's position it a little bit better, like so. All right, and a little bit upwards. Yep, like so. Okay, it looks great. Uh. Uh, we can uh, hit render and see how it goes, but uh, just to make sure all the lights and the camera are like in the position we want. But uh, basically, uh, what we want to do now is to assign our materials to our meshes. Uh, so go to the material tab and select uh, your object and hit new. I want my f uh, backdrop to be. Uh, made material and make it completely white, like 100% white. Okay, should do. Now select this arch, hit new material, and select uh, 
select uh, uh, sorry class 2 and uh, what we want to do with uh, this we want to give it a hmm, actually no let's let's just make it a simple class actually that would work a little bit nicer and let's give it transmission color of blue like so yep looks nice and you can uh, preview uh, your material by clicking on this sphere and as you can see it's over there okay and then I want to uh, give uh, this body a rough glass material and we go to rough glass and we choose press it transparent and we choose uh, let me find this one let me find this one yeah glass crown common that should do just fine and once again hit on that little ball to preview uh, you can actually preview as a cube a ball a uh, what's that called yeah are the Sophie the blender monkey but anyways now I want to copy this material to the rest of uh, the mesh uh, simply go like so and once again and once again and once again okay so basically we have all our material materials uh, set up and we are ready to render so hit 0 on your numpad and hit F12 and see what happens so here we can see that Lux render is uh, starting its magic and it, it, it will take a lot it will take a while to load the scene but here it goes something is happening and you can uh, change display uh, interval to three seconds that, that way it will uh, make it a little bit less time to to like display and tone map all, all all the stuff but like once you leave it to render I I highly recommend you to set uh, the display interval to a higher number because that trains your memory a lot and by a lot I, I mean like very a lot but here we have our tab light groups and as, as the whole image renders we can change the gain of each light for our our lights we have created so there we have our blue light let's crank this puppy up and see what happens here we go saturated blue light the whole scene is blue and we have some acoustics over here and over here and over here basically uh, it's kind of too blue but we can fix that by changing the color temperature like so and it will be a little bit warmer and stuff but basically you can, you can, you can control each light as so and you leave it to render and that's it once you're done you'll be left with the picture you like and don't worry about this highlight because uh, uh, the way Lux render calculates uh, uh, the light it basically it, it, it will go away and the picture will be a little bit uh, uh, darker but you can then color correct it and basically that's all she wrote for this part of our tutorial so uh, just take a lunch or a break and come back in an hour and see what happens